Do you have any plans for New Year's Eve? If you do, have I got the look for you. I am going to show you how to get a beautiful, bronzy, glam look perfect for a night out on the town, a party at a friend's house, or just sitting at home in your living room. I already have my base products on and I'm going to show you what I used, but really just use the products that you have that give you the finish and lasting power that you're looking for. Today I actually used two primers. I used this BH Cosmetics Mattifying Primer and I'm using a mattifying primer because even though I have mature skin, I'm 58, I also still have oily skin through the T-zone. And if I don't use a mattifying primer, then after an evening of celebrating, I might get to be looking a little more shiny than I want to look. This one you can see is almost gone. I've got it over here in my use it up basket so that I can make sure to focus on it and use it up. Then I also used the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base because I wanted a more pore smoothing look through the center of my face. So I put that on my chin, cheeks, nose, and forehead. This is also in my Panning Cats and Dogs project that I started in November, and I just put up my December update for that. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it up in the cards and in the description box down below. For foundation, I used the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation in Bisque. I put that all over my face, blended it in with a damp beauty sponge, and then I took just a little bit of the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter and mixed it into what was left on my palette. And then I just dabbed my sponge into that and put some on the outer perimeter of my face, across my forehead, a little bit down my nose, just to give me a little bit of a glow. With Christmas and everything, it's been pretty busy. I've been waking up early, so I was a little tired, had a little more pronounced darkness under my eyes. So I went in with the By Drew Color Corrector in Light Peach. This is a Flower Beauty product and I really like this color corrector. It's a little less emollient than the e.l.f. or the Bobbi Brown, and it's a little deeper. So it does a really good job covering the dark circles when they're a little bit darker than normal. I used my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. This one is in... I have no idea. I can't read that. I think it's vanilla, and I will make sure to put that in the description box when I link it. All the products that I use on my face will be down there, linked if possible. Some of those are affiliate links. You are under no obligation to use my links, of course, but if you do, I very much appreciate it. And then I just set my eyes for now because I am going to be using a cream contour, and I use this AOA Studio Perfect. This is one of the three powders that I will use under my eyes. This one makes it look a little drier than the other two that I like, but it's still pretty good under the eyes. It's very finely milled. And at AOA Studios, everything's like a dollar, dollar twenty-five. I haven't shopped there in a while, so it may have gone up. I'm not sure. And that's it for my base. So let's get into putting some color on my face now. And the first thing we're going to use is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Wand. The color I have this in is light, and this is a really good contour color for me because it's very cool toned. So I am going to dab this right under my cheekbone and grab kind of a dense blending brush. This is a Real Techniques brush and then just dab and blend and kind of making sure that I'm blending up and back so that I don't pull my face down. And then the other side. This is a true contour color for me. The difference between a contour and a bronzer is that a contour should be a cooler tone because you want to create a shadow and shadows are gray. Whereas a bronzer, you're looking to create the look of being touched by the sun, which is usually more of a little bit of a warmer tone. I am going to put this right here on these gels. If you haven't heard me say it before, I hate these packages with the tip on the top. This one doesn't close. Even the ones that do close, they're so messy that if you twist them open and close, you get it all over everything. I just really don't like it because they're a mess. Anyway, this kind of helps chisel out the jawbone a little bit, camouflage that saggy bit. I am then going to use my Catrice Holiday Skin Bronzer Highlight Palette to add some bronziness. And I've just got a fluffy angled brush. Go into that bronzer and just kind of put that on the high points of the cheeks. and a little bit above my brows here. A 
little bit on the fronts, just warming up the face a little bit, not with too much. I'll go back and use that highlighter maybe a little bit later. For blush with this look, I had a really hard time finding a blush tone that I liked with the bronze and with the red lip that I'm going to use later. But this one from ColourPop, it's called Meteor Right, actually works really well. It's kind of a warm shade, but it's also pretty neutral. And I am going to, I'm just going to use that same brush I used the bronzer on. And I'm going to put this on the upper part of the cheek and blend it up and back a bit. I'll leave it at that for now, and at the end, I'll reevaluate and see if I need more, blend it out, take less, whatever. And then I'm going to take a smaller fluffy brush into the highlight shade in this palette, dab some off, and put that right on the tops of the cheeks, and blend it. That's a pretty color. Oh, got a lot on that side. <laughs> It is the day after Christmas. I hope that everyone had a beautiful holiday. I did. My kids were... Where's my sponge? It was just here. Oh, there it is. My kids were all here. My grandbaby was here. My mom and her husband. And we just had a wonderful day opening presents and having food, playing games, just really enjoyed our time together. And I hope that you did too. I know for some people, the holidays is not a joyous time of the year. And I hope that you were able to have some people around you who made things a little bit easier on you. One of the things I got was this simple modern water bottle from my son and daughter-in-law. And I just love it. It's a beautiful color, one of my favorite colors ever. And I'm hoping that it will help me to hydrate more in the new year because I have other water bottles, but they're kind of clunky and not really easy to drink from. And so I just don't, but this I'm really liking so far. I'll link a simple modern bottle down in the description below. I don't know if you watch Rach Loves or Rach Loves Life, her channel. This summer, she did a comparison of a bunch of different water bottles and this one held up really well against the Stanley, but it has a much friendlier price. So the palette that I'm going to use for this look today is the Sahara palette from Alter Ego. And there are just all kinds of beautiful browns and golds in here. So this is what we're using. Oh, wait, before I go on, I want to powder the rest of my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Fair. Just put a little bit of that in the cap. Grab a big fluffy brush. I'm going to load up the brush, get it into the bristles, tap off any extra, and then going to start in the center of my face because that's where I want the most setting and forehead and then sweep it out from there. I don't want to completely kill the glow from the elf but I also want to make sure that my makeup lasts all the way to midnight. What do you guys do to celebrate the new year? We are generally here at home. I still have one of my children at home. Sometimes everybody comes over and we play games. We generally get a puzzle and set up a card table and work on it through the Christmas holiday. I actually have the whole week off from work and I'm really excited about that. Hold on, I gotta get an eye brush and get started on this. Um, all right, I got a big fluffy one. I'm gonna go into sand and, sands, sorry, and put that as my transition color starting just kind of a base to blend on. Anyway, so the puzzle is fun because we work on it just through the week as you walk by or whatever, we put a couple more pieces in and I have the whole week off from work. I think we're gonna plan an ice skating trip with some of my daughter's friends and she's off dance for a couple weeks. So I also have some decluttering projects I want to do. I have some filming I wanna catch up on. So I have a feeling these days off are gonna go by really quickly. Okay, now let's start deepening things up a little bit. And I'm going to use Camel on a smaller fluffy brush and start deepening the crease a little bit with that. All right, so there's that one. I'm going to do the other. I'll be right back. All right, because I want this to stay on really well, I'm going to use my Hard Candy Glitter Glue. You can use any glitter glue that you have. You don't need to use this one. 
And I'm just going to put a small amount of that on my whole lid. And I'm going to do one eye at a time because otherwise my eyelids stick together and it feels weird. And you just want to blend that out until it's tacky, but it's no longer wet. And I am going to just use my fingers. The first one I'm going into is bronze. I'm going to take that on my ring finger. It's a beautiful bronzy shimmer. And I'm just going to pat it on the outer half of my eye. Oh, that is so pretty. Got a little below, but that's okay. I'll fix it. And then still working on the same eye, I cleaned off my finger and I'm going to go into Mirage here. I'm going to put that on the front portion of my eye and blend that line where they join. Isn't that pretty? Again, I'm going to do the other eye. I'll be right back. One little tidbit, if you have crepey eyelids that kind of fold over each other, especially when you put glitter glue on, sometimes it'll want to stick. So you may have to just slightly lift your lid so that you don't have a spot where it skipped because your eyelid had kind of stuck together. Oh, the joys of getting older. On that lighter color, I didn't really bother going all the way in. It would have made a mess for one thing, but I'm going to put a lighter color there anyway. So I'm going back into that crease brush that I used and just going to blend the top of these shimmers in with that creased shade so that there aren't any harsh edges like that. And if you feel like you've lost a little of the crease depth, you can always put just a little bit more on there while you're blending. I am going to take a pencil brush and go into Canyon, which is this deeper brown right here, and just on the outer little V here, put a tiny little bit to give some depth and smokiness to the outer corner, and then drag that under, but just about halfway. And then again, with that same brush that I was using earlier, just one more blend. With a very small pencil brush, I'm going to go into the lightest shade in here, which is Jewel. Jewel's a little bit pink tone, but it's okay because I'm only using it right in the inner corner for a little pop of brightness. Right there. And if you want, you can also take just a tiny little bit of Mirage and bring that in the center under the eye to add a little bit of sparkle on the bottom too. Since it's a party, why not? For eyeliner, I'm going to go into my Wet n Wild Sima Brown now, trusty, tried and true, and I'm gonna tight line with that. I also scrubbed this a little bit into the base of my lashes and a little bit above them. It's not meant to be neat or tidy because then what I do is I take a, this is kind of a rubbery tipped, it's not really a brush because it's a rubber tip, but it's a great smudger. And it just gives a really nice smoky eyeliner look. On the bottom lashes then, it's my Maybelline Lasting Drama Light Liner in Starlight Gold in the lower waterline. And I just think that's really pretty to open up your eyes and not get things too dark and close down because that can make your eyes look small. All right, I am going to go curl my eyelashes and put on some mascara and I'll be right back. And the reason you're not seeing it in this is because I'm going to film it for another video. I'm back. And if you want to see what's on my eyes, you're going to want to make sure that you're subscribed and your notifications are turned on because that video is going to be coming up in a few days. I'm testing a couple of new e.l.f. products. Hopefully that'll be intriguing enough for you to want to stick around and see what it is. Because this is a New Year's Eve glam look, I'm going with a red lip. I did exfoliate my lips before I sat down to put my makeup on, and I've had the Sigma Lip Conditioning Mask on while I was getting ready because I want my lips to be nice and hydrated before I go in with this red lip. For a liner, I'm going to use the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Beverly Bungalow. I got this in a ColourPop Mystery Box last year. It 
Speaking of, I just ordered a new ColourPop mystery box and that'll be here in a few days and I will film that unboxing. It'll, it'll probably be up late next week, I would think. Okay, so I didn't, I don't bring this all the way to the corners because my lips naturally turn down a little and if I bring it all the way to the corner, it's going to emphasize that. The lipstick I'm going to use is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Matte in Wine Room. This is in the panning project that I'm working on. It's panning cats and dogs too. I put this in for the catitude prompt. This is something that makes you feel sassy when you wear it or you wear it when you're feeling sassy. I need to stop talking so I can put it on. It is a blue red, so it makes your teeth look whiter. And I think it's just a really pretty matte formula so it stays put, doesn't bleed into my lip lines, and has a really good lasting power. Sometimes I like to put a little bit of gloss or a lip oil over it and so I'm going to put on just a little bit of the e.l.f. Glow Reviving Lip Oil. I'll put the color down below because I can't read it. I don't know what it is. And just a little. I don't want it to be like gloppy glossy. Just a little shine because I mean my eyes are really shining so I want my lips to shine too. Real quick, I think I need just a tiny little bit more blush. I'm just gonna put it right here. I feel like my cheeks are a little pale with everything else being, with everything else being bold. And then one last blend. And then of course I want my makeup to last all night long. And so let's do the e.l.f. Microfine Setting Mist. Such a good mister. And now I'm ready for whatever New Year's Eve has in store. What are you doing for New Year's Eve? Share your plans down in the comments below, even if all you're planning is to be in bed by nine, because as we get older, man, staying up till midnight gets harder and harder, doesn't it? <laughs> all joking aside, I want to thank all of you for being here, for getting us to the 1,000 subscriber mark. I'm going to put a couple videos here. If you have time and you want to watch another one, I would really appreciate that. I hope that you all have a beautiful, blessed New Year, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.